I like to rap though. Do some raps on the player intros. He thinks he's a punk. That that's pretty much all I've got. Well, Spanish with funk. I believe Pro is playing the top left hand side. He's a bit of a hunk. <laughs> some say he's a slam dunk. Oh, oh. In the bottom right. We got a red Zerg player. It is Akirian Zerg Penguin. He also doesn't really rhyme very much, does he? He's not a good player to try and rhyme stuff for. Does Hydra Speed affect lurkers? No, it does not. As you will see, the initial drone here is just going to move over towards the third base to take the hatchery. Probe already in position to block this, and there's just been a pylon gateway opening from Funk, sending that probe across post pylon. Did you just have some probes mining away here? Yeah, so some probes mining away, and workers just getting at it. We are going to be seeing Funk is, uh, again, just got this probe around the main base, which you can use to scout around, see what's up, see what's going on. Just pick up some early information here. In this uh, first game of the best of three. Wait, you thought this was an IRL stream? Nope, you've been bamboozled. This is actually a StarCraft 2 stream. It's actually a StarCraft 2 stream with real life StarCraft 2 action. No shenanigans, just actual StarCraft. Ling Bane sucks against the Mass Hydra, doesn't work against Stalker. You just need to play Ling Hydra. <laughs> I think if you make Ling Bane Hydra, it's completely fine against Stalkers. You just can't, uh... <laughs> you just can't, um... You can't make only Ling Bane. You can't make only Hydras. You need the combination, you know? Come on, it's an easy rhyme. Funk. Lunk. What even do the word, those words mean? Trunk. I had dunk. I didn't have bunk. You'll find him in your bed bunk. It's fun. See, that doesn't really, uh, yeah, yeah, that doesn't <laughs> doesn't really kind of you know send out a good message for him, does it though? He'll put you in the trunk. It's fun. <laughs> oh, you know, he doesn't really like. I don't think I don't know how to rhyme it to make it sound like he's not just a creeper or like he's gonna murder you in the night or something. He's just fun. Okay, we'll just stick to it. Penguin in the bin. Yeah. Anyways, we do see a couple of adepts coming over, well, the first adept coming over. I already picked off a couple of lings here now, three. And we'll shade away to safety as that queen continues to hurt on it. As we do see the robo facility dropping down in the natural expansion, so. So we've seen the uh, robo about halfway done, the dark shrine coming down as well. Stalker poking away is going to be able to pick off this uh, overlord here in just a moment or two. Some more links coming up through the center. Well, the build from Funk obviously going towards that kind of arc on drop play style. As the lair comes up from Penguin, I was going to say we are missing a gateway. A gateway, and that is going to be coming down right now. So, four gates it is, especially exactly as you would expect it to be for the 4DT warp in, hence the two archons, and be able to go from there. Hey, Philandros, when are we going to do that podcast episode? I might actually have to record a podcast episode on my own tonight or something. Wow, did Fear Dragon just unmod himself? Wow. Drunk! That's a good rhyme for funk. Hey yo, what's up? It's Funk. Last night he was a bit drunk, and then he ended up in the trunk. See, it still sounds bad. See, now he's just a degenerate. Instead of being a murderer, he's just a degenerate. Is that really that much better? Ah. <sighs> Whoopism comes across them out. The three DTs are going to warp on in. Behind this from, uh, well, Penguin, he's got, well, Roaches, Lings, Banes coming forwards. He has got an Overseer here to defend this, so, you know, the DT damage is going to be fairly minimal, but they can stick around and kind of trade for a little while and just lift up when they start to get low on shields. Obviously that works out, especially because they're going to morph into Archons here fairly soon anyways. One DT lifts up, the next DT not far away from having to do so. 
There's a lot of kills there, though. Nothing lost for the Protoss player, and he kills 24 Lings. I mean, a few went down to the Adept earlier, but a bunch of Lings, a drone of Queen. That right, adds up into reasonable numbers here. So we're going to see two more DTs warping in, so he's really going to go for this now. Funk obviously feeling as though he's got a moment or so to actually get some damage done. His Penguin just going to sit tight and maybe see if he can defend on this third base. It's going to be three Archons and a couple of Adepts moving forwards. Well, I mean, the Adepts can kind of tank a little bit of damage, but the Archons are so tanky anyways. I'm intrigued about the Adepts. I mean, are they going to really add a lot into this now? Well, Triple Archon, a little bit more powerful than what we're used to seeing, as we are going to see the first of those Archons lifting up now, another one being pulled back here. And he will just start it back away. Of course, he can kind of juggle those Archons to safety if he needs to. Actually, it looks as though he's going to be just about okay anyways. Yeah, they we're going to be seeing the... Uh Archon getting away. There's one prison will stay on the map, of course, and do a little bit more, though. Obviously, we'll find more damage over time. 54 probes to 41 workers. This is actually looking very good right now for Funk. Funk going to be trying to move in towards the main base, and we're just going to be seeing the uh, Archons. Picking up a few Zerglings here right away. So feelings being picked up, and we are going to be seeing the Assimilator coming down on the third base. So Assimilator comes down on the third, we're going to see this... Uh, Archon drop to the left hand side. Queen fucks away at that wall prism as well. Blinking plus one on the way up right now from Funk. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop reading rhyming suggestions for the chat because you're making this very NSFW. Like, why NSFW that I'm comfortable going on the stream? Just out of nowhere. I'm gonna stop. Roach is actually running to the natural. There is Bane's morphing in. I mean, you got to remember, Funk's in a position where he can afford to take some damage, but not loads of it. He actually uses his force fields here initially on a couple of Banes, which means he doesn't have a good position at all to really defend from the extra Roaches coming across the map. And Funk suddenly finds himself a bit surrounded, maybe not expecting such a large army to suddenly be over here. Robo and Power, two of the gateways that are here, are now gone as well, with no pile on them. Funk is just stacking up money, he doesn't actually have enough and maybe just got a little bit too preoccupied with this Archon drop of this harassment across the map. Let his macro slip because right now he has nowhere near enough units. As we're going to be seeing the uh, Dark Shrine going to go down. Dark Shrine goes down and Funk looks as though he's going to be in trouble. He's got some warp gates to the right side but too much damage already taken perhaps. I mean no more mortals going to be coming out here. He can't warp in more Archons either. Penguin takes game one of this best of three and... To the bottom right hand side, bottom left hand side, our blue pros player who's doing pretty good in that last game. It is Romandy Gaming's Funk. There's a opponent towards the upper right hand side, the red Zerg player, it is Penguin. Not used to having to stay up until 5 a.m. for streams. It's okay, Dark Ones. Next week we're doing America's event, which means you can uh, tune in from like. 5 a.m. <laughs> you can wake up at 5 a.m. to start watching or something. No, it mustn't be 5 a.m. Like, uh, I guess it'll start like 8 a.m. or something your time, I guess. It'll be more normal for you, like, if you wake up in the morning and watch StarCraft. Which you might not do. Just getting going, just getting rolling here, probe nibbling away. Well, the game just looking to be a little bit of a nuisance out of the players, nothing too crazy. Fear Dragon called you out to ban him. You know what we should do? We should just unmod everybody. We should just unmod everyone and see what happens. You can see this uh, spawning pool going to be finishing up here, and we are just going to be seeing this pro coming in and nibbling away at this uh, drone. A few workers coming down towards the low ground and just getting set up and rolling throughout these early stages, so, pro going to be here. Uh, Taking a little bit of damage, this overlord as well from Penguin. Moving on through. Early game, not really too crazy at all. 
one of those days where early games are just a little bit slow and a little bit steady. Even the ZVZ, not much was happening right from the get-go. As we start to see some link speed attacks and stuff. Link's gonna jump on top of that pylon. So some damage being dealt right there as we're gonna see the bin and that's coming down from Penguin. A few extra Zerglings coming up from Penguin too and I'm getting this third hatchery coming up as well, so Penguin's setting up into this. We're gonna see what's gonna happen. Stargate's on the way through and well again, just getting set and ready to roll into this, see how things will go. But the Stargate coming up obviously kinda creates a situation where you know, for Funky, will be fairly safe. He will be able to do a lot of different things. Look at this aggression, though, out of Penguin. So many links coming up. I just said, well, the early game is not so interesting. It's been pretty stale, but now a whole bunch of Ling Bane going to come across the map, and we're going to see a Bane burst here in game number two. These are depth stop movements, so they get caught more easily by the Zerglings. One goes down, the other will not fall, but it will take some heavy damage. Its shields disappear. And, well, one of depth will replace it in the wall off there. First Oracle on the way up, which will go a long way to helping out against an attack like this one. But will it be enough? There is not a pylon in this uh, wall either. As this Bane's do finish, they're going to move on forward in towards the mineral line. I mean, here we go. The Oracle's going to pop right now to help out, but there's already two Banes in. The wall has been... I mean, I'd say the wall has been broken. Did it really break? You see this pylon going down, which will actually unpower the gateway. Will actually cancel that Adept Warp in time. Just doesn't cancel the Adept Warp in. Look at that Bane Lindo connected on the probes. The Oracle does not have infinite energy. It's only just come out here recently. It wasn't a very fast Oracle at all. And Penguin is breaking through in towards the main base. Where there is free Adepts, though. This Bane going to have to do a little bit of something to help out. Look at the probes dropping in health once again. And now they're going to drop so easily. It looks as though Funk is not really going to have enough here. GG. Penguin takes game number two and he takes the series to move through into